Monaco hosted Marseille at the Stade Louis II and were looking to close the gap on Paris Saint-Germain at the top of Ligue 1. Well, Jean Bettino's delightful pass for Valérie Germain put the 23-year-old Monaco youth product through. His terrific finish put them one up. Into the second half, Jeffrey Condogbia's neat one-two with a Portuguese midfielder set up Emmanuel Rivieri to smash it to the top corner and close in on the leaders. In Brittany, Gangong almost produced the shock of week 22. As with six minutes to go, Mustafa Yatabari headed in at the Stade de Rudero. The home support sent wild by the Mali strikers first for almost four months and Gangong since December. With the host on the brink of a first league win over PSG since 2003, the Jabby is hit back minutes later and Alex Rose unchallenged to rescue a point and PSG's blushes 1-1. On Friday night, Lille hoped to take advantage and made the breakthrough just after the half hour. Nolan Roux's centre looped off Calamun Kalou's thigh. The improvised header past Benoit Costille, the December's player of the month's seventh of the season. But the Britons hadn't scored for 270 minutes. Abdoulaye Dakure broke that emphatically. Ren able to leave with a valuable point. Well, Lyon continued their great 2014 at the Stade de Gelon. Bafatimbi Gomez's neat turn and strike finding the back of Johan Duran's net for 1-0. Well, Jonathan Mensah talked himself into an early bath 40 minutes in and the host took advantage almost immediately. Alexander Lacazette doubled the lead with a brilliant chip finish, grabbing his 11th of the season, a tally already more than twice his previous best effort for a season. The third arrived with 40 minutes remaining on a quick counter-attack. Jimmy Brian pace opened the space up and Lascazette couldn't refuse the offer for his third and twelfth in Liga. 3-0 to Lyon. Well, Bordeaux put a challenging start to the year behind them to beat inform San Etienne. Henri Save deep cross found Abu Traore for his first of the season just before the break. It certainly brightened a sodden Stade Chabon d'Emma. The host made the point safe when San Etienne's defence at sixes and seven. Henrique, the Brazilian defender, on hand to make it 2 0 after it came off the post. San Etienne missing the chance to put the heat on Lille in third. Well, the correspondent fixture ended 0 0, and the sides picked up where they'd left off. Host Nantes' best chance came for top scorer Philippe Georgievic, but he was wasteful with a free header. Laurent's best opportunity came through Odea Fortes. His strike tipped off the crossbar by Remy Rue and stayed out. 0 0, the final score. Lorient was superior in the first half away to Valenciennes and were rewarded with the opening goal. Gregory Bourrion lost Salui Cis. His header came off the unfortunate Senegalese defender for an own goal. But birthday boy Gregory Pruyo celebrated turning 34 in style with a terrific looping header. 1-1, Valenciennes 3 from safety. Montpellier went high spirits at home to Nice after dumping PSG out of the Coupe de France in midweek. Remy Cabela's pass and Antonio Munez's perfectly timed run allowed Milan Loni Mbai Nyang to break the deadlock after 31 minutes. Well, one became two when Daniel Congres flick found captain Victorino Hilton to slide in his second of the season in 54 minutes. Well, Claude Puel threw on Niel Maupa and Alexi Bossetti and it paid almost instant dividends with the two combining with the latter finishing coolly. 2-1 at that stage and Montpellier hadn't been at risk at all. But they managed to get them two goal advantage back Spectacular fashion, Solomon Kamara, brilliant control and terrific volley, giving them 3-1 victory. Well, it was a clash of the bottom two in Corsica, and it was the host who forged ahead. Benjamin Andre started the move, and he put the Islanders on the brink of a first win under interim boss Christian Bracconi, and only a second this season. But the show broke their hearts with an injury time equaliser. Vincent Nuguera tapping in to keep Ajaxio bottom, but both sides far from safety. 1 1, the final score.
Well, Toulouse v Bastia became the second match in as many weeks to fall foul of the weather. Montpellier, the only side to win on Friday or Saturday as five draws were played out, including PSG being held by Gangong. Sunday was a different story. Three home victories, seven goals, none conceded. So Paris' lead cut to only three points as Monaco took advantage of their slip-up. Lille actually tightened their grip on third after Saint-Étienne's defeat at Bordeaux, which moves them up to sixth. And at the bottom, Sochaux's late equaliser hasn't done either of the sides any good. Sochaux still nine from safety, Ajaxio looking forlorn at the foot. Everyone's position is precarious, with Valenciennes gaining a point and those above pulling further away. Well, PSG will have the opportunity on Friday night to put what was a bad week behind them when Bordeaux visit the Parc des Princes, with Monaco in action early on Saturday away to Lorient. Saint-Étienne can put pressure on third spot when they host relegation battlers Valenciennes.